All right, now we're going to solve some type two problems. Type two problems, you're giving a network address and a prefix length. This defines the, the network we have to work in. So if we look at this, we're given 58.218.208.0 with a slash 20. We consult our chart, slash 20 is a block size of 16. So if we wanna know where our last network can end, 58.218.208, this is an interesting byte, the third byte. We add 16 to 208 and we get 224. Subtract one, we get 223. So this network goes from 58.218.208.0 to 58.218.223.255. Uh, basically, I just made this a type one problem so I could figure out where the network ends to, to know the size of the network we're working with. Uh, we don't really need to do that. What we do need to do is we need to create a number of subnets uh, that meet these given requirements. And we're gonna have a certain set of rules we must follow to do that. One, you must start at the beginning. Two, you must go in order. And three, you must start each subnet at the lowest place it can start. So basically, it must start where the previous subnet ended. So uh, how do we solve these problems? Well, we start out by starting at the beginning. So I like to copy and paste because it makes it a little easier and, error, and er, less error prone. So we start at the beginning, 58.218.208.0. That's our first address we can use. And we need to find the prefix length for this size. So we need 1022 usable addresses. If we consult our chart, we have usable IPs in the third column. If we go down to 1022, we end up with 22, right? So now I need to find out where the next network can start. For 22, the block size is four. So I need to add four in the interesting bytes to get to my next network. So uh, 208 is the interesting byte right now. I say right now because it's gonna change as we go along. So then I can add four, maybe I shouldn't copy and paste. Add four to 208 and get 212 slash 22. So uh, same thing, we need to do the same thing. We have 1022 usable addresses. The block size is four, we need to add four to 212. 216.0 slash 22, right? Now we have a 254 usable addresses, which is gonna end up being a slash 24, but we need to know where the slash 24 can start. So this is something, this is one of the places people get confused. They look up the wrong block size. We need to know where this slash 24 can start, and the way we find that is by finding out where this slash 22 ended. So if we add four, right, slash 22 block size is four, if we add four, we get 220, 220.0. That's zero. So that is where this network can start. 220.0 slash 24 is uh, this next one. If we look at the block size for 24, it's one. So 58, 218.0. That network was 220. This one will be 221.0 slash 24. Uh, Net, the next network can start at 222. In fact, this is how I actually recommend you solve these problems. Don't even look at the size of the next network until you've figured out where this network can start. So th these type two problems is probably the easiest way to keep you from getting confused. So it can start at 222.0. For 62 usable addresses, 62 usable addresses, we need a slash 26. That was a dot, not a slash. Slash 26. And our block size is 64, wait, where is it? Yeah, 64. So this is another place people get messed up. Up until this point, we've been adding in the third octet. So if I was to add 64 there, I would end up with 286, which isn't even possible because that's higher than 255. But in this case, we've moved on to the fourth octet. Why are we in the fourth octet now? Well, because we're, we have 26 network bits. So that puts our network bits out here in the fourth octet. So I'm gonna add 64 to the zero to get 64, that was a dot again. 14 usable addresses is a slash 28. The block size for that is 16. So I'm gonna add my 16 to the fourth octet. 28 again, because it's 16 usable addresses. So there I did a little uh, variable length uh, subnet mask uh, network design without doing any a real binary calculation. So let's check it, see if it's right. I'm in instant, instant feedback mode, so I know it's correct. Let's do another one. So 8190 addresses, we find that in our chart, that's gonna be a slash 19. So we start at the beginning. We have a slash 19, 
And uh, we're in the third octet, right? 16's right here, 24's right here. So slash 19 is going to be a third octet. So we need to add 32 to the third octet. So that's going to give us uh, 145.147.160.0. And then our next network is going to be a 2046. That's going to be a slash 21. And that's going to need to increment by 8. So we'll add 8 to our third octet. We get 8, 8.0 slash, we have 510 usable, 510 usable is uh, slash 23. We need to add uh, 2 to our third octet, so we had 168, so now we have 170.0. We need a uh, 30 usable, 30 usable is going to be a 27. The block size is going to be 32. So now we're going to be adding 32 to get the next uh Network uh, 30 usable again is again again going to be a 27. Add 32 will give us 64. Another 27 for 30 usable. Add 32 to get us uh, 96. And then we have six usable addresses. Six usable addresses is a slash 29. All right, let's do another one. Oh, this is easy. All right, start at the beginning. 126 uh, is a 25, and then we add 128 because that's the block size for a 25, and then we need a slash for 14 usable is going to be a slash 28. Let's do another one. Start at the beginning. 2046 usable is going to be a 21. That's going to be a 8 for the block size, so I need to go up to 128 plus 8. Why 128 plus 8? Because I'm in the third octet still. 16 is here, 24 is here. Uh, so that's going to give it, get us up to 136. Is that right? Is that plus 8? Yeah. 254 usable, that's easy. Original class C slash 24. We need to add 1, so that's going to make it 137. 62 usable is a 26. We need to add 26 to block size is 64. So we need to add 64 in the third octet. And then we have another 62 usable and a 26. So uh, I can do these problems without looking at the chart uh, for the most part uh, because I've done them, them enough. And if you practice enough, then you pick up these patterns and then you will be able to do the problems without the chart. It'd be like a human subnet and calculator. Uh, you don't believe I can do it without the chart? Here, let's see. Screwed it up already. Stupid. I just copied what was up there instead of looking at the number. Don't be like me. We'll do a few more problems without uh, talking, I guess. Yeah, so instant feedback mode is uh, helpful if you're going super fast, like I was just trying to. It caught a lot of my errors uh, that I might have missed uh, if I wasn't in instant feedback mode. Uh, but when you're solving these problems for uh, for class, if you're in, in my class, uh, then instant feedback mode won't be there, and you'll have to solve your own errors.
I had to think about that one for a little bit. It's not one of my common ones that's in my head easily. But I still didn't consult the chart. I have a little uh, trick I use using my fingers that maybe I'll show you guys later if, uh, if you're nice to me. Sometimes if I know that I'm going to have the same uh, prefix length, I mean I'm going to have the same first part of the network all the way down, I'll go ahead and copy that all the way down. And then I'll try to be speed subnetting guy. So there you go. That's uh, all the problems I'm going to do for now. Uh, I will do a brief uh, reminder of what you need to do. Start at the beginning. Find the prefix length that goes with the given number of addresses. So in this case, 510, right? 510, you need a 23. Find the block size to add for that. You add two. Add that number to the proper place. In this case, we're in the third octet because it's a 23, which is between 16 and 24. It's another 5, 5, uh, 10 usable, right? Add the 2 to the proper location, get the proper prefix length. Add the 2 to the proper location, get the proper prefix length. In this case, we're at 25 now, because 25 will give us 126 usable addresses. Block size is 128. We need to add that in the proper uh, octet. 125, why did I type 125, 128? Alright, 25, we need to add... 128, this takes a lot longer when you type all the answers in instead of cutting and pasting. We need 30 usable, which is good uh, for the slash 27. We need to add 32, because that's the block size, to 128. That gives us 160, 27. So that's it. That's how to solve type 2 problems. Uh, strongly recommend you practice for a bit in um, instant feedback mode. And then when you're ready, if you're in my class and you're trying to complete the program, then go to the program and uh, solve the problems for uh, as required for the assignments. So uh, that's it.